I'm back and today I'm going to do two different videos. I'm going to do one of a drawing I started. Um, it's a Norwal. It's going to be uh, like a tie-dye type theme purple one. If you saw one of my other older videos, you can see that I came up with the idea and I'm going to do fluorescent horn. Um, I figured right now I would walk through uh, my drawing process. I don't have a good camera set up so I can't record while I draw. I don't have extra arms for that so you know whatever but I figured I'd show you how I what I started with and how many times I've raised and everything yeah so I mean I'm good but I have to work very hard at what I do and drawing and prescribe per perception and all that kind of stuff so let me show you what I have so far and then what I'll do is I will stop and make a part two so you have to check that out of the finished product yeah or you know what maybe yeah I think I'll show you guys my finished project and yeah so let's get started on that already ready I'm gonna flip it okay okay there we go all right so don't mind those paints that's for something else we'll do another video with that later so here is my Norwal. I know, super simple, but I'll show you what I started with. All right, so here is this. This is my first drawing. Um, I was going to make him hippie and do, oh here, this might be better. Um, like a tie-dye theme bandana and like little tattoos and peace sign. Maybe I'll make him a little peace sign charm. That's a good idea. But this is what I started with. You really could figure out the tail it was just not looking right. So you can see that I drew and erased a lot. And none of them were quite what I wanted. So I had started over and I had come up with this one. Alright. Uh, so I love the way the Norwal was turning in the water it's supposed to be he's supposed to be in water i hope but i love the horn and the shape of the body the fin the eye and everything but then when i got down to this tail area i still couldn't figure out the proper way to make his tail look like he is it's helping him flip in the water onto his side slash back and if you can see there, I erased. You can see how hard I push and how many times I drew. It was like for every line you see, think about that as one drawing. So, I mean, yeah, you can see that I erased and drew a lot of times. And I was trying to show shading and I still couldn't get the quite, quite right, the, the look of the tail folded. So, my husband being amazing, he thought of this little conclusion. We, uh, I had originally drawn this one just as a shape, like if he was float swimming on his belly. I cut the tail out and we taped it to another piece of paper to make it a stand. So like that way when I'm drawing, cause I am a very visual person, I have to see what stuff looks like to be able to draw it. I can't just draw from my head cause my brain won't let me, it just, it gets, I just get an artist block, basically, and I just don't, I can't remember what shapes they look like. Like, if you had asked me to draw a dog, I know what a dog looks like, but honestly, it would look like probably a two-year-old or a three-year-old did it because the shapes just don't come out right in my head, even though I know what a dog looks like. And I can color a dog if you give me a drawing of one, and I can make it look really good, but I just can't draw. I'm just not good at 3D stuff. So this is what I'm working on, obviously continuing it'll be a long process it'll probably take me years to perfect it but i'm okay with that my art is what it is and it's cartoonish and goofy sometimes and i i don't mind that but here you can see like this would be his body i needed a 3d image of like what it would look like so that way i can draw his tail and know that it was meaning to look like that so that when i look at it from this view I can see the back, oops, sorry, the back of his tail here 
and his fin being up here and his fin down here. So with that helping me, I came up with this little guy. His tail looks amazing. And even after having this, you can see that I erased and drawn the tail multiple times because it just takes work and drawing takes work and it's hard. And sometimes it's very frustrating and discouraging because you you know what a shape looks like in your head, but when you go to draw it, it just doesn't come out right. So I can understand people out there who feel discouraged and don't want to draw because their stuff isn't turning out the way it looks like or what other people art looks like and who've been practicing and do it. And some people, the stuff just comes natural. Um, colors come natural to me, but the drawing does not. So that's on one part of my life I have to work on. But yeah, so here it is. I'm going to do light purples and dark purples and kind of make it a speckly type of tie-dye effect. We'll see how well that works with Copic. Um... Yeah, so I'm super excited about this. And I'm going to make his horn um, fluorescent colors. I might give him a cute little, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll give him a cute little tattoo right here that says, like, love. Or maybe I'll give him a little, like, charm or something. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm feeling like I need something else. And, yeah, so that is the drawing process. I mean, I started this last night, and I probably did it for, like, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe, like, a couple hours. I, I drew, and I drew, and I raced, and drew some more. As, I mean, you can see, uh, I came up with multiple different drawings, and then I just got frustrated, and I stopped for the night. Couldn't do any more because my brain hurt from trying to think of a way to do it. Um, I'm going to flip the camera over since that you guys... Yeah, so I drew for hours and hours last night, working hard and messing up and making mistakes, but you know what? I'm determined to get this Norwell done because I see it in my head and I know it's going to look fantastic. I just need to work part, past the part of drawing in 3D sometimes, and if I want to be a good artist that I know I can be, I have to work through it, and I want to encourage other people too. I mean... It's hard to work at something and see how good other people are doing, yet you're still not there and you've been doing it for years. I, I understand. I mean, I completely understand. It just takes time. You just have to keep doing it. And if you want it, you'll work for it. And trust me, I have my days where I don't want to even look at a pencil or marker because I'm so frustrated with myself that I just want to give up. But then I think about, like, if I was to give up, what would I do with my extra time? And that would just to be sit on the couch and do nothing and watch TV. And I don't want to be that person. I want to go out and get myself out there and do what I can. So, with that, this will be the end of part one. Oh, uh, don't mind me. It's a Saturday. We're quarantined. Let's be real. I'm not going to do anything with myself today, okay? I'm going to be hanging out in my pjs with messy hair actually i guess it's not that messy but this is what it looks like in the morning and then when i wake up uh i guess i woke up hours ago but this is what it looks like when i get up and this is what it looks like when i go to bed i'm just messy and yeah i'm not even gonna bother with makeup sorry i keep shaking the table just the wraps off the table and yeah i'm not gonna get dressed i might change my pajama bottom so i don't get paint because i'm gonna make another video I'm getting a better camera and I need more desk space. So I'm going to make myself a tabletop and yeah, so I'm going to go paint that and make it cool looking so it's just not plain wood, but yeah, I don't want to get paint on my pants. I'm a very messy painter, so I guess we'll have to find out when we do the video. Hopefully I don't get all over my phone. This happened many times. Thank goodness for phone protector, like screen protectors and cases and all that stuff because I've definitely had my fair share of pain on my phone. Yeah. And well, so I'm just going to rock my PJs like everyone else. There's no point of getting dressed. You can't go anywhere anyways, right? Whatever. PJs is a new thing. All right. Well, I'll stop talking and I will see you guys back again for the finished product of the Norwal. And then I will also make a, 
I'll try my best to make a video of like my desk before and then during and then after. We'll see how well I can get my camera to work. So, yep. All right, we'll see ya. Bye. Hi there. Uh, I'm back. It's much later. I I ate dinner and crocheted a little bit. And yeah, so I now just finished the whale coloring it and it turned out really really well um, i'll show you that in just a minute um, i'll also go over the colors i used for my whale maybe i'll do that first so let's drop them okay i use fluorescent colors and purples oh look how pretty those purples are oh yeah so i used bb11 bb02 BB13, BB000, and BB17. Those, oops, sorry. Those are all like blue violets and then the just different shades and hues and all that cool stuff. Um, and then in like intensity of the color as well, the second number is the intensity and the first number is the, um, the saturation. Yes, that's the word I was looking. I have it right there. I had to look at it. I couldn't remember the words I used, but, um, yep. And then I just used fluorescent red or pink, green, yellow, blue, and orange. So, um, I don't know if you remember what it looks like before. Um, don't mind the purple. Um, the paper I used was paper you scrapbook with, um, so, yeah, the marker kind of bled through it a lot, and I didn't realize it was going to do that until after I did it, and so that's why there was purple all over my drawing, but I don't keep those, so whatever. Those are just so that way I don't have to draw on my final piece with pencil and worry about erasing it or it showing through the marker, and I will show you the picture. And... Three, two, one. <gasps> look how cool it looks. Oh, you can barely see the eye, but look how cool. Look how cool, right? That turned out so good. And the hard work the night before and this morning of redrawing it a hundred times and erasing a hundred times was well worth it because I loved how it turned out. The tail looks so good and I'm so glad I didn't give up and I kept trying. And that was my message for this one, is that just keep trying. You'll get it. it. It's hard, but you'll do it. Just gotta keep trying. That's that's the whole point. But I love the way it turned out. And if you look close enough, he's got little peace fa sign freckles on him all over him. He's got little peace sign freckles. Oh, and he has a little tattoo freckle that says love. Maybe if I flip the camera, see it better. Let's see, how's that? See, oh, look at the love and the peace signs, and he's such a happy little Norwal. So cute, oh, it looks so good. But that's the finished product, yeah. I'm glad it turned out. I mean, I worked hard drawing on it, coloring the part is easy. I mean, picking colors and coloring to me is the easiest part, but drawing is the hardest. And that's why I'm making these videos. So that way I can show everyone what I'm going through with drawing and how my progress is. And so you can all enjoy my art as much as I enjoy it. Uh, yeah. Or if you just watch my videos because of the goofiness. Maybe I'm not even that goofy. I don't know. That's up to you to decide. But to me, I don't know. Maybe I think I'm a little goofy sometimes. But that's just me. That's just who I am. Okay. Well. That's the end of this video. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I do have one more thing. I'm starting another hat for the kids I nanny for. Uh, it's the boy this time. He's getting a bear hat, a polar bear hat. And uh, I'm working on the crocheting part. So let me go get that walking through my house. Yes, okay, so. And... Oh no, I just dropped all the yarn. And it went under the couch.
Okay, good. Thank my husband got it. See, look how cute it is already. It's not done. It needs to be much, much bigger. But it's going to make little bear ears. It's going to be so cute. Shout out to Miles. I know you guys are out there watching. Hopefully. Maybe not tonight, but soon you will be. Sorry, there's a green glare on my glasses. Okay, there we go. Oh, you get to see my husband's video game. Yeah, he likes video games. Okay, so there's the hat. Uh, maybe I finish it tomorrow. I'll show you the end product on Instagram. So if you want to see that, you got to go check it out there. All right, bye.